Good morning, guys. In today's video, we will talk about a accredited intern pharmacist program that is a compulsory requirement of AFRA, the registration body in Australia for pharmacists and other medical profession. So what is a accredited intern program um, programs and which colleges will provide you this program. So let's just talk about what is a accredited intern training program. So it is a compulsory requirement. This program is more like a certification that you have to do during your intern year while uh, working in the supervised practice. So um, you have to enro enroll yourself in those colleges and this program generally lasts for 12 months where they give you a couple of assignments to do uh, and help you to enhance your knowledge regarding the pharmacy practice in Australian pharmacy. Um, so there is six different universities and colleges providing this program. The first one is Australian Asian College of Pharmacy, uh, which also known as GIL. The second one is PSA, Pharmaceutical Society of Australia. So these two are most popular and most of the intern pharmacists choose these two colleges to do their intern pharmacy program here. Um, the third one is Monash University, located in Melbourne, Victoria. Um, Monash is more for people who are doing the intern pharmacy year in hospital because their uh, certification, their source of resources they use in, in their program is more clinical based. So if you are uh, if you are one who, who who are doing or want to do as an hospital intern pharmacist job, then this program is for you. The fourth program is the University of Queensland. They provide their own intern pharmacy program. The fifth program provided by <laughs> The fifth university that provides this program is University of Sydney. The sixth university that provides this pro program is University of South Australia. So these are the six different colleges and universities that provide you with intern pharmacist uh, program. So. Uh, let's just talk about what this intern pharmacist program is. So very first thing, it is a, a mandatory requirement for you if you want to register as a pharmacist here. Once you get your placement, you enroll in these colleges by showing that you already have your placement done and now you want to enroll in this program. This program generally lasts for 12 months if you are working uh, as a full-time intern pharmacist, but you have the option if you are working as a part-time pharmacist, you can, um, you can extend this program for two years as well. What include in this program? So this program, have a series of assignments uh, which will help you, guide you to know more knowledge regarding your pharmacy practice in community as well as hospital. Uh, this program help you um, to, uh, help you to, to, to get the skills and the knowledge that is required by a fully registered pharmacist who want to work in Australia. As well as the first plus point of enrolling in this program is you will get your past intern written paper as well as they will teach you and give you resources how you can tackle your oral in oral examination. Um, so this is a plus point. As well as some of the colleges are 
are also doing other types of certification along with your intern pharmacy program like vaccination certification is provided by PSA and Guild as well. So uh, I'm not too sure about Monash, but Guild is doing it. So uh, this certification, when you um, when you want to do such type of certification, it will cost money. But if you are doing an intern here with that particular college, for example, if I'm like I'm I'm doing my intern program here with Guild, the Australia Asian College of Pharmacy. Uh, and, and they also provide the vaccination certificate course. So when I want to do that vaccination certificate course, they will give give me some sort of discount. The other example is PSA, the Pharmaceutical Society of Australia. Uh, you know APF? I will show you APF. So APF book is is designed by PSA, the Pharmaceutical Society of Australia. So if you are doing your intern here with PSA, you will get discount when you buy this book. So yeah, let let uh and also one more point: how much this all program costs? So this all program costs from eighteen hundred dollar. Australian eighteen hundred dollar to two thousand two hundred dollar depend on which college or university you choose to do your programming. Let me show you some more details. So when you go to APC, the Australian Pharmacy Council, you will see this six program that are six colleges or universities which are giving you option of doing the program. When you go into it, um, for example, Guild Intern Program. So Guild Intern Program. So Guild is a Queensland-based um, college that give also all of this program is online, but some of the colleges and university want you to attend the workshop personally. Uh, so really depends. So there is one guild uh, training program. Uh, it's very popular. The other one is PSA, intern program. And they will also tell you what benefit you will get. So free PSA membership, uh, the opportunity of PSA MIMS intern pharmacies here, and also yeah, e MIMS. They will give you free access to e MIMS as I am doing my intern program here in uh, um, at uh, with Guild. So they have given me e MIMS plus as well as flexible payment. So they also know that $1,950 is a lot of money and people who just started working as an intern pharmacist job, they have a lot, uh, lot of things going on. So they give you an option. They will give you an option of paying once of payment or six month installment. Uh, even even with the guild, they give you such type of um, flexibility. So um, the third program that we will you see is Monash. Monash University program is more for the people who have who want to work as an hospital pharmacist or or, or are working as a hospital pharmacist is more clinical based. So, yeah. So this is the Monash and uh, is a 24 credit point course, as well as there is University of Sydney. So people who are living in Sydney and want to uh, I already have the intern pharmacist job. They also have the option of you going with University of Sydney uh, training pro program. 
uh, as well as there is University of Sydney and there is University of Queensland as well. Um, having the having their own own intern pharmacy program, as well as University of South Australia. So all this university, uh, so most of the local domestic students who pass out their Bachelor of Pharmacy or Master of Pharmacy from one of the university, uh, they will they will enroll the intern program here as well as to that university. So if if a person is graduated from University of Sydney, they will they will enroll in the in the intern program we are provided by University of Sydney, unless they migrate to the other part of the Austria to um to um to do the internship. So yeah, this this is is um very important knowledge that most of the overseas pharmacy don't know that when they start the intern year, they also have to enroll themselves in one of the six colleges or university to do uh, do their intern pharmacist program because if you completed your intern intern hours. 1575 hours but you haven't enrolled in any of this program then you are not eligible to to um, apply for general registration for pharmacies so it is a requirement from afra uh, so yeah um this is uh, going to be very short video and um, Hope, hope this piece of information will really help you guys to um to plan your um intern year um and yeah any uh if you have any any other questions please comment below i will i will definitely reply it back uh, i know there are some email that i have to still reply but i will do it uh, by today as well as um I am soon calling other intern pharmacists on my channel to share their own experience, uh, which will um, which will uh, help the overseas pharmacists who want to migrate to the Australia to plan their to plan their studies, to plan their um, uh, to plan their uh, resources, how to put the visa application. We will talk all this with the other intern pharmacists who already undergo that same process. Like, like you have to do it if you want to migrate to the Austria. And you will uh, hope, hope these all videos that I will be posting in future will might help you to uh, to get a clear image of an Australian pharmacy uh, pharmacy market and uh, um, and also give you a clear image that it is worth it to move to the Australia by leaving your current job or your country. So yeah, this will be the end of the video. Stay tuned guys. Signing off.